Hi, it's Martin. Welcome to SR40. Today we're going to see a trick for when we want to copy the text from the source segment into the target segment of our translation. For example, um, if you uh, watched some of the other videos before, you might find, uh, find this text um, familiar, right? We're going to see how to do copy source to target. So, here we have a project, right? We've been working on this project in other videos, right? Um, what, I want to, uh, what I want to do is uh, show you how sometimes uh, the text that we have in the original file, uh, regardless of the target uh, language of the translation, might be useful uh, to save us, uh, you know, typing and clicks and so on. Uh, for example, let's see uh, in this text on number, um, on segment number 14, we have a date, right? We have 1952 and we have uh, these two um, purple uh, indicators uh, that are the, the, um, the tags for Charter Studio, right? So we need to move all that information into our um, target um, section, right? So uh, the first thing we can do, which we would be doing by instinct, right, is to to highlight all the text and to just uh, do copy. We uh, we can do this action by going to the Home tab and and clicking on the copy icon or as we can see uh, in the in the the pop-up that that comes up we can press ctrl c the same way as we do in uh, the microsoft office applications right so we copy and then we just paste we go to the target segment we do paste and there you go there you have the um, the content, the content of the source segment replicated exactly uh, in the target segment, right? So I'm going to confirm it. And I'm going to move on to segment number uh, 16, right? And um, I could do the same. I could highlight the text, copy it. I, I right clicked on it, right? I highlight the text, I right click, I copy it, and then I just do paste. That's um, a second um, a second way of doing this. Acá pongo Miss Universo 1952, and then I'm ready to confirm that segment again, right? Then on segment number 17, we have the name of the country. Let's give it a, a more technical twist and let's do the following. Instead of doing copying and paste and so on, we are going to do just one action, which is I, I position the cursor on the target segment and I go to the home tab to the segment actions section and do copy source to target. Right, and um, what I see is that the whole segment, in this case one word, went uh, to the other side of the translation. So I just go Finlandia, then confirm, and move on to uh, the following segments. Uh, you might have noticed that something happened here, right? This is an automatic uh, action that's called auto propagation, right? And we're going to see it on a different video, but I'm having a tutorial on auto propagation and auto propagation settings coming soon. Okay, so let's go on doing the same. We uh, get to segment number 20, which is a little more uh, elaborate. We have a name. We have tags, a hyperlink, another hyperlink, and we have uh, the marker of a footnote here, right? So if I wanted to replicate all this, I could 
obviously I could um, start typing, right? Um, and uh, and then you know put the format and so on to the text, right? There is one thing implied in this. For example, if I type uh, just like without paying much attention, uh, I could uh, make a spelling mistake, right? For example, I could, I may omit one of the letters of the of the name or uh, well uh, uh, use the wrong spelling and so on. So in this case, our copy source the target is going to work perfectly because not only will I get the name right, but also I will get all the tags and all the format of the text right into, posi into position. For example, here uh, we have the text in blue and we have this in blue uh, with, you know, with, um, with uh, hypertext. Um, so, uh, so we have all we need. In this case, uh, there, there, there's uh, a couple of advantages, right? Uh, on the one hand, we have all the elements positioned already, and on the other hand, since, since this is the name of a, of a person, that's the name of, of Miss Universe from Finland, um, we don't need to modify anything, so we just can we can just confirm. Um, the segment and we really didn't have to do much we just had to do a uh, copy source the target let's try one uh, one more thing let's see what happens here um, if I had uh, configured a translation memory this would show up as um, as a suggestion right but since I don't have a translation memory active right now it doesn't show up we will see how to do that soon in a different video. Um, to uh, I'm gonna show you two more things uh, so that this is not that long. Um, one thing I wanted to show you is another way of doing copy source to target, which is the shortcut which shows up on the screen when we hover over the name of the of the icon, right? Uh, it says there copy source to target control plus insert so we pre uh, we press the control key and we press the insert key and there you go we have um, we have all the text as is uh, in the target section right so here, once again, we don't need to do anything because this, these are um, all measures, uh, all uh, measurements, and, and the symbols are universal, so we don't need to change anything, right? So we're ready to go here. We will uh, confirm this segment. Probably we will see that uh, down further, we, uh, that is going to uh, be replicated. We will deal with that soon, right? And one thing, one last thing that I would like to show you um, in order to wrap up. What would happen if I needed to copy all the text from the source segments into all the target segments? There is one option up here, right below copy source to target, which is called copy all source to target or uh, the keyboard shortcut Alt plus Shift plus insert right if we do that let's uh let's take a look at this right because we need to see what happens we do copy all sorts of target and we're gonna see what happens if we had something for example segment number six or segment number nine with a text that we introduced before that's going to stay the same and uh even though the name is copy all sorts of target the only uh, segments that are going to um, that are going to uh, move from source to target are the ones that weren't uh, modified before. See how a segment the segment that reads "Año" stayed the same, and the segment the number nine that read um, "H" 
uh, also stayed the same. All right, so I was very concentrated looking at, uh, at everything. All right, uh, this video has been a little too long uh, for my taste, but uh, I hope you like. Yeah, I hope you liked it anyway. Um, there is yet one more way of doing uh, the copy source the target, which you can do uh, during project configuration, but we might take a look at that on another video. All right, so for now, that's it. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Check out my channel. Bye. <laughs>